Hey survivors, this is Sanin and this video is all about having decent graphics with good FPS in DAISY standalone. I will go straight to graphic setting as this is why most of you are watching the video and I explain stuff later on. Here are all my settings on one picture. First off, we open video settings. Duh. Everything here is really down to your own personal preferences as it is in user interfaces. However, rendering resolution will affect your FPS. So if you can't live without losing few frames, do not have it on 100%. I think by default it should be around 80. So here. And I also have vSync disabled. If you have watched any video setup guide ever for any game really, they almost always recommend to disable it. And I will talk about why that is in a later video. Now let's open quality tab. I have everything set to normal. I could run them on the highest levels and lose like 20 frames. But I find it to be a good lean way between performance and the looks because let's be honest, Daisy standalone is really looking nice. You could also disable clouds and it will definitely give you some 10 to 20 extra frames. But I don't mind them clouds going there. And not having them there doesn't, doesn't really matter either. So this is an easy way to get some more frames. Next we have textures. As you see, video memory is set to auto so Daisy would grab what is available and needed for it. Everything else is again on normal. They don't really factor in in such an easy scene as this is right now, but in a more complex environment it would really kick in. I have tested it in the woods and having them on very low or disabled and having them on the highest levels, I think the frame differences was like 4 to 5, so it, it's not really a big difference there. Of course, in cities it would be a big difference and therefore have them on normal. And finally, we have rendering, which is the most important tab. Anti-aliasing is set to normal. Alpha to coverage all trees and grass. This is pretty standard. Edge smoothing FXAA normal. So, now comes the two most important things. HDR quality and ambient occlusion. HDR quality is set to very low and it will give you 15 to 20 frames so make sure you have it on the very low level and secondly you will have ambient occlusion and make sure that you will have it on disabled as it will give you 20 plus more frames per second and this is really these really are the two most important or the easiest ways for you to up your frames per second that you're getting in Stacy standalone. And let's be honest, the frames really matter because the player with better frames, better being, most likely has the upper hand in the combat situation. And we know it's a survival game, but combats do happen in this game. And finally, post process quality, I have it on low as well. And plume and rotation blur are also on quite l low. But these, these sliders, you can really have them on wherever you like, as it is down to your personal preferences. I just like my picture to be as sharp as knife. So, next time I will explain the graphic settings in detail. So if some of you are wondering what these settings are representing, make sure you stay tuned. And I really ho hope that this video helped you survivors and if it did, please do not forget to share it with your friends who are also playing, maybe a like if you really liked the video and subscribe to get some more tips, news and tutorials about DayZ. So thank you for watching and this is Sanin, signing off.